Good morning, American literature students, and welcome to week number five. So we are more than halfway through this, you know, a term class. So very good. Um, I'm actually very happy with the progress that most of you are making in this class. In fact, really, I'm kind of happy with the progress all of you are making. Uh, all of you did a topic proposal last week, so thank you, even though I didn't mention it in the video last week. Thank you for paying attention to the schedule on D2L and to the schedule on the uh, uh, back side of the syllabus. So good job there. I did receive many questions, and it's kind of my fault for not ex explaining exactly what I'm looking for. So I went ahead and tried to answer those in those emails. Um, and all but only a couple of you have already done your uh, annotated bibliographies, which is also very pleasing to me because it, that's uh, doing the research is one of the hard parts. So what I have done is anybody that turned in either a uh, topic proposal or an annotated bibliography or both has 100 on that part of the grade. That's 20% of your uh, research paper grade right there. By doing those two parts of the assignment on time, you're already off to a great start. I'm very pleased, and I mean extremely pleased, that every single student took the uh, exam one. I can't even begin to tell you how happy that makes me. So good job there. It's nice to know that I'm not going to get some desperate email from somebody saying, oh, I have this excuse. Can you please open the uh, exam back up for me? Uh, because you all did it. So good job. I want you to go into the grades tab on the top of your uh, home page and click that and take a look at what your grade is. I think just about every single student in this class is either at an A or a B right now. And that's because you got the hundreds on the top proposal and the uh, annotated bibliography. And that's because you've got the uh, um, good grades on the uh, uh, exam one. The lowest grade on the exam one was a C. So um, that, that's good news. Most everybody got A's and B's on that, which pleases me as well. It means that you're at least getting something out of this class, which is what I was hoping for uh, from the beginning. So all I can say is great job so far. Um, keep pushing. Uh, the hardest part, of course, is coming up, but you are doing very, very well as a class. And if you are watching this video and you look at your grade and you've got an A or a high B or something like that, then you're, you're uh, pat yourself on the back. You've uh, taken a very difficult schedule and a very difficult uh, class, and you are doing very well in it. So good job. All right. Um, I will look at those... Uh, annotated bibliographies and I will look at those topic proposals and I will give you my feedback on those throughout the week. I may not get to everybody's today, but I will get to everybody's um, because you know how I like to make comments. I have fallen behind on the discussion posting grades, but since you've already gotten comments on the discussion posting for the topic you're going to actually do, then um, that's great. Uh, so you can use that as your basis in the uh, research paper. I hope to have these comments and these research papers done within the next couple of days because next week on Sunday the uh, 8th, so six days from when I'm making this video, we are going to uh, have the first draft of the research paper due. And then I will give you comments on how to do that well. I always feel like it's a good idea to do two drafts of every paper because then I can give you feedback on the first draft and then you can make whatever adjustments you need to make. So please don't fall behind on this research paper because it is a, what is this thing? This thing is worth 20% of your grade or 25% of your grade. The research paper is worth 25% of your grade. So you don't want to fall behind on that. That exam one was worth 20%. Exam two, of course, uh, that's coming up pretty soon. That's going to be next week. So uh, once you get done with exam two, then that'll be the end of that. And then of course, everything else will be on the final exam. So, um, that's about all I really have. I just, you know, again, I can't say enough good things about how well everybody in this class is doing. And when you look at your grades, you'll see that you are too. Even if you're struggling with the discussion postings, you'll notice that that exam one and then doing the topic proposal and the anti-bibliography on time also brought your grades up. So uh, great job. If you did not do an anti-bibliography, you need to get that in uh, because you need to get that research done so you can at least have that portion of it done. Then it's a matter of taking your posting and taking your research, putting them together. Of course, you'll have to add some stuff, obviously, but uh, in order to make the uh, paper better. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, again, always feel free to email me the questions. I'll try to get to those as quickly as possible. Also, um, during my office hours, which are posted here on the syllabus, you can uh, contact me by phone or you can drop by and visit if you happen to live in Albany and see me then. I know that many of you work full-time jobs, so it's not always the most convenient thing in the world. But sometimes when I get questions, uh, 
it's easier to answer the questions over a phone call or it's easier to answer the questions in person than it is to have me write out a 13 page email so um, you know I try to make myself available as much as possible so with that in mind uh, great job and keep up the good work and I look forward to uh, I'll get you that feedback as soon as I can. I'll get caught up on those discussion postings as soon as I can. And I look forward to seeing your first drafts uh, by next Sunday.